That was good, y'all. As you can see in the title, you know what I'm saying? We're finna get into this topic because I think it's very, very, you know, inspirational, inspirational and motivational in this day and age, you know what I'm saying? And I think it gets so swept away that we really don't give it enough thought where it actually makes sense. And, you know, I got this from from my love. She has sent me a TikTok. And it was a lady. She was talking about the quickest way to get the things you want is to be happy without it. And it just clicked with me because of what my beliefs and whatnot. And that's really, you know what I'm saying, what it is. Just be grateful for whatever you have in the moment right now. And whatever else is out there will come to you. But you have to be already happy first and moving first. And I feel like that's already in me and what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to be happy in everything I'm doing. I don't need, you know, all the other validation. I don't need all these big things. You know what I'm saying? I just want to feel happy and be content in the things I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? That's probably, that's probably why I hide away a lot, you know? This is a big step for me doing this because, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of my, one, another one of my first loves is uh, music. You know what I'm saying? I'll make a lot of music. And I just would never drop because it just, it didn't feel right. I was making it for myself, but it's just like, I don't think people would mess with this. And, you know, sometimes they would, sometimes they wouldn't. But it's just, I don't really, I'm not really making it for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm making it for me. And with these as well, too, I'm being more open and more confident with this. Like, I have making about, like, almost 40, 50 videos now. And these are all public this is the most public i have done something like this and i'm gonna keep doing it you know what i'm saying and it's gonna be very it's, it's very therapeutic honestly just being able to express these thoughts that are within you know what i'm saying and it, it makes me happy you know um you know what i'm saying i'm not at a crazy level you know but it, it's at a at a point where it's just like man i'm doing something that i really like you know what i'm saying and then it, it's just gonna evolve from from here from here on out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I kind of take this, you know, this, this little phrase and I'm taking it into every avenue of my life where it's like, man, I'm trying to be happy without, you know, all the biggest things that I want or all the things that I do want, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I am happy without those things because I don't have them now, you know what I'm saying? So whenever those things do come, I just have to deal with those things and learn to appreciate those things and for the other things that do come. You know what I'm saying? But another thing I wanted to bring up with this, because it gets even deeper than that, too, where it's just like, okay, so she had brought up a point, my love. She brought up the point of, you know, uncommitting to commit. And that's a very, very uh, difficult uh, term to to explain. So let me, let me try my best to explain this to y'all with, with, you know, what she was saying as well, too. If she wants to speak about it, you know what I'm saying? She, she'll be around. But I'm committing to commit because it has to do with self-sabotage, right? And, you know, we, like us as human beings, we self-sabotage a lot. We're just like, oh, dang, this is something I want or this is something I need. But you know, something's off about it, so I'm going to do something. I, it feels like I, you know, I, I don't deserve this, or this isn't for me right now, or it feels, you know, there's something always off about something, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it's just like, let's say you've been with multiple people before, and you finally have somebody that accepts all that of you, it's like, you know, something doesn't feel right about this. I had to, I, I well, what are you doing to me? Like, why do I feel these type of ways, you know what I'm saying? And there's something there's so much conflicts within this phrase, but you know what I'm saying, I'm also dealing personally with this this phrase and the conflicts I'm feeling within myself, but back on to uncommit to commit, right? So committing, right? That can make you happy. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you're committing to somebody, but were you happy before that, right? And that, that's the question you have to ask yourself. Were you happy before you tried committing? You know what I'm saying? And the thing that you're committing to, were they happy before, you know, they're being committed to it? They're, they're 
they're brought up to this pedestal where they happy before that too, right? where they, you know, spiraling at some point too, right? So she brought up the point of like, okay, you have to uncommit, you know what I'm saying? And really, you know, be almost happy with yourself and be with yourself to fully try to commit again or just, you know, be with another person, right? You have to be with yourself first. And that's just, I feel like that's the basis of what, what that means, where it's like, okay, you have to uncommit to commit. You know what I mean? And it sounds very simple, but it's also, it's, it's very difficult. You know, I want y'all to understand that. Uh, but it's it's a very eye-opening concept. You know what I'm saying? It's to be, it's not to be. Or to be is to be. You know, like in, the, in that same similar, you know, rationale, that's how things are you know it is what it is you know what i'm saying that that popular phrase of you know what you're saying like if it is what it is that is what it is you know that, that's what it's going to be unless you make it different right so it comes back to this topic of to be happy without it um let's say for example right let's use fashion or, or clothing right let's say you, you see a piece that you really want but you know what i'm saying you're not looking at the closet that you have right now you know what i'm saying you're you're hyper focusing on this piece and you're not you're breaking yourself down because you're not happy without that piece so when you actually had that piece it's just like it's just like it's whatever after that and i think i i'm starting to understand that with a lot of things that happen in my life where it's like man I want to get all these things I didn't have before, but it's like, was I happy before? Did I, am I happy when I have these things? Or where, where's the where's the ground? Where, where am I grounded at whenever I'm making these decisions? You know what I mean? Am I trying to look for, into those things to be happier when I can just do it now and be happy without that thing? But, you know what I'm saying? It's, what, what I'm really trying to say is you, you don't, had to not want the, all those things, but you need to be able to be grateful for what you have now or just be happy without it, you know, because at some point it's going to come. Always. At some point it's going to come. So it's just, it's just the, the struggle of being happy. Let's say, you know, relationship-wise, I think that's a very big, you know, point within this where it's like, okay, let's say you're wanting this perfect, perfect person, right? But you're not happy now. You're not happy with your life right now. So... You're going to keep going through these these cycles of things that are not helpful to you and people that are not helpful and getting hurt, hurt, hurt because you're not happy without that thing that you that you want. You're not aiming to be happy without that thing. You're, you're looking towards that thing to be happy. And, you know, I'm a victim of that myself. I'm not being hypocritical where it's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm past that. Oh, I'm definitely not. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of there's a lot of things that I still do where it's just like, man, I think I want this right now because I think this will help you know, a lot of other things work together a lot better, but I'm not happy right now. Like, why, why am I looking towards this thing to create, make everything better when I can try to make everything better right now? You know what I'm saying? And I think that's, it's, it's very, very important. And this is, it, I think this is one of the first steps to like, to happiness almost because we're always wanting things we're almost we're always focusing on things the media it's always wrapping us it's always wrapping us around its finger right but if we're happy without the media we're happy without all these other things like there's nothing you're unstoppable that unstoppable you're unstoppable at that point i apologize but you're unstoppable at that point because you don't need anything to be happy you're already happy. All these other things just, you know, they're there. You know, they they make you happy too, but you're already happy. You just have this thing now. And it's just like, okay. If I lose it right now, I'm, I'm still happy. And I think that that's it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful concept. You know what I'm saying? Even, you know, rationalizes with, you know, the beliefs of what I believe, you know, looking towards, you know, Steve used to be where it's like, man, if I lose everything, if I lose it all, I'll still be happy. I'll still, you know, 
have love. I'll still have all these things because none of these other things made me. I already had that love. I already had that, you know, drive before these things. So it's just, it's a, it's a long process, you know, because what what happened in the world and, you know, what we've been put into. But once you conquer this, I think a lot of things will, you know, be a lot clearer and everything is just, you know, you look at everything bigger, but then it's just, it's small at the same time because it's like, man, this is just, this is just another thing, man. I'm already happy. I know I got to do this, but well, what happened? if I don't, I'm, I'm good too. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's so powerful, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm not going to keep y'all around here too much longer, man. I just want to say, man, be happy without it. Be happy without it. Yeah. And I'm learning that too, you know what I'm saying? These these things are not just for, for y'all trying to help y'all out too. I'm doing this for myself. Like I'm telling y'all, this is this is for everything. You know? So yeah, just be happy without it. And you know. <laughs> That's it. It's been choosing, man. I'ma be out. Peace. Thank you.